Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday, and that means it's time for another Bible story time. As always, we're reading from the Spark Story Bible with permission by Spark House and 1517 Media. And today, we're going to be reading uh, another story that's not strictly connected with Sunday's text, but I think probably a good one for us to read anyway. It's called, Do Not Worry. Jesus loved to teach people about how God wants people to live. God takes care of us, Jesus said. Don't worry about what you are going to eat or what you might wear or when you'll grow taller. God will take care of these things for you. Look at the birds. Do they worry about what they eat? Of course not. God makes sure they have food. Look at the flowers. Do they worry about what color they are? Of course not. God made them each beautiful in their own way. And God makes you beautiful too. You're beautiful simply because you are you. Then Jesus said, listen, there is far more to life than worrying. Worry gets you nowhere, so stop. The one thing you need to do is put God first. Trust that God will take care of you. The question after this Bible story is, what kinds of things do you sometimes worry about? And who can help you to stop worrying? Those are good questions. Because I know that I worry about things sometimes too. I worry about my family, whether my kids are happy. I worry about all of you, about how you're doing during this time when we can't all be together the way that we want to be. I worried a little bit about school starting in the fall and how that's going to look and whether you guys are going to be able to have the best kind of experience that you can have. I worry about a lot of those things. Jesus reminds us that it's okay to be concerned about things, but worrying about them too much just makes us upset. So when I'm worrying about my family or about you, or about other things going on in the world, it's helpful to remember what Jesus says here. To remember that God loves us, that God wants what's best for all of us, and that God promises to be with us in Jesus and by the Spirit to help us to know that love, that presence, and that power in our lives. Talk with some of your loved ones about the things that you're worried about, and then I invite you to say a little prayer that God would help you not to worry about those things, especially the ones that you can't control. Let's pray. Holy God, thank you for this lesson from Jesus. Help us to spend less time worrying and more time remembering your promise to be with us today and always. Amen. I hope you're all doing well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.